When you're removing this airbag, guys, um, I got four. Let's see what size is that? I think they're 10 millimeters uh, bolts to hold this together. First, you're going to want to unplug your battery or remove your airbag fuse, your airbags fuse. Um, I'll just unplug your battery, let it sit for about 20 minutes, and then. Uh, Start to, uh, you got one plug that runs up on the side here, right up on the top. And you get that slide, take that loose, unplug it, and then take the bolts off and start. Now the sucker's going bye bye. Two bolts up here, two bolts down there. All right, so hold that out. Took all these bolts up here or nuts and bolts loose on the top went ahead and this bottom bracket had to take this console piece out um you guys know that you gotta unplug stuff you got a screw that goes here you got a screw that goes over here if you got the four-wheel drive um well i think even two-wheel drive mode has it too uh you just have to pop that plate loose, take that screw out, uh, pop the cover plate, you know, that trim piece. You got, you know, side pieces off that are over in this corners, you know, where the ducks are at. Um, I have to take the steering column loose and take it off. Um, however, it's coming along and we'll see how, how this goes. I'm going to try to do the minimal amount I can do and still remove the dash and make it feasible to work on. So, we'll go from there. Alright, heater core sucks. I mean, bad. So, you've got to take your fan loose. you got to take your plug loose from your fan. Basically disconnect it all. You've got four... Let's see, five. You've got five bolts holding your heater core. One is over here. You can barely see it. It's down in this corner, far left corner, if you're looking at the engine bay. One there, one there, one there, and one right behind the freaking head. Um, that's kind of a bitch to get to. So, And you have to go ahead and you've got to tear. I mean, you got to take everything loose, basically. There's really no cheating to do it you're going to take everything loose your dash you're going to unplug everything you're going to unplug your blocks your pcm your ecm uh you're going to unplug it all. and we're going to pull this box out um and then you're going to go ahead and take the box part that's going to be the easy part hard part's going to be hard part's been doing this and putting it all back together and trying to remember where i was because i mean yeah i'm a mechanic but I can tell you, this is a nightmare. Uh, everything is just torn apart. Um, you don't have to take your head unit loose or none of that crap. Everything's, you've got to take your antenna loose over here on the far right. Um, and everything. So, uh, steering column, two bolts on the top. Drop the steering column down. Um, that gives you enough room that you can slide it out and let it hang on the steering column on that side without taking the whole dash off. I mean, pretty much you can take the whole thing off uh, anyway. And you can just take the other two bolts, slide your column out, and be done. But this way, I mean, I can pretty much get to the whole thing right now. I called one guy's video on it, and it's pretty thorough. The only thing he wasn't thorough about was the bolts on the back side of the firewall. Um, and I found out the guy that I bought this from actually started working on this. And then he gave up because it was an absolute pain in the butt. So I just found that out because there was a couple bolts loose and the other ones weren't. So I know that he was like, wow, this is going to be ripping the whole dash out. So 
I hope to get this done tonight. Um, and then uh, as far as putting this back in with the new heater core, I'm taking the uh, the uh, condensing unit out, the evaporator, whatever you want to call it, out, and uh, chunking it because I don't have AC. But this is what it involves. It is a pain. Uh, make sure whenever you take the side pieces loose at the bottom, you got two... Uh, nuts on each or bolts on each side make sure you loosen them up enough they got washers on them and they'll catch on the freaking bracket on the actual uh, uh console so it'll make you seem like it's not loose but you just got to make sure those washers aren't catching on the ends of them all right stay tuned thanks